episode and what happened? Pablo Shriver is back in this episode. Um, it's Benson's aggressor, attacker, um, and the, it's all about the trial, and it's riveting. I just came, we're filming right now a very gr a great scene where Pablo takes the room, and, and um, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really strong episode. Let me ask you this, those The audience is gonna be so, I, not excited to see him, but he plays this character so well, and he's creepy. Um, and, and it's a joy to have him back. It's, it's, he's so relaxed and so, it's such a nice, um, nice feeling when he's on the set. But the story itself is... Really see, the, yeah, we get to see closure and it could be bad, it could be good, you know. It's, um, but some, some weird twists and turns go on even though it is mainly a trial. Um, it's, it's just gonna, it's, it's creepy and it's, like, it's riveting to watch because, you know, Whenever something like that, like a, a trauma like that, gets a little closure, it's 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 hard. It's hard to go through. You're looking forward a little, and Lewis. You know, Rollins gets put on the stand, um, and I think Anna Morrow gets put on the stand, and you know, everyone gets up there, and I think it's about managing your own disgust for for this criminal, um, and trying to be the cop that you know you are, and you're trained to be on the stand and to just the facts, you know? But what he's done is so heinous and it's so personal that that struggle is, is really alive in because he's representing himself and it's him questioning you. And it's, I think it's really alive. You see, you see Rollins' skin crawling. And last question. And here we are, it's still, like this guy is the worst we've ever seen, you know? And he's done it to one of our own, which makes it a lot different and a lot more personal.